Hello, Internet. Good afternoon, Governor. Alonzi. Hello there, interwebs, and I am so sorry for what is probably a really inaccurate and offensive British accent. Welcome to Geek Food Friday! If you haven't been at my channel or my blog or you have no idea who this face is, there's probably a good reason for that. My name is TR and I am the geeky, gluten-free writer of Gluten Free Crumbly and the host of this wonderful YouTube channel that I hope that you're subscribed to, but if you're not, go ahead and do it. I'm sure there's a button around here somewhere if I've been good and created the annotation for it. So if you couldn't tell by my horrible and offensive British accent in the beginning, I am making a very British-centric Geek Food Friday this week. I am super excited for the 007 movie that's coming out this weekend. I know I'm going to go see it tomorrow. I'm not seeing it tonight because, let's get honest, I'm getting kind of old for the whole midnight showing thing. Sorry, young me from years ago. Now I was thinking of ideas of what to do for a Geek Food Friday recipe for 007 and I thought, duh, idiot, what else is there to do other than a martini? So today we are going to be making a seasonal martini that is inspired by 007. I'd like to deem it a apple cider double teeny. I hope that was a pretty good pun. Please tell me that was a good pun. The best part is that this is a super easy recipe, especially if you've made any of my hot mold apple cider, because I'm using that as my base for the mix to go along with the vodka. So we're only gonna need three things for this recipe. What we're gonna need is a mold cider, now mine has a little bit of rum in it. It's perfectly okay if you have a non-alcoholic mold cider to start with. And you don't want it to be hot, you want it to be cool. And obviously vodka. I mean, who makes a martini without vodka? The third ingredient you'll need is some ice. I didn't have it on the table because honestly, I didn't know how long I'd be rambling up until this point and I bet it would have probably been water by now. And the most important thing to making this a 007 martini behind the vodka, obviously, is a shaker. Cause <laughs> what kind of monster makes a martini that is stirred but not shaken? I mean, come on now, are you some kind of villain? I think that's probably the first flag if you're some kind of villain. Well. That and having a scar across your face, that's probably a lesson I learned out of both 007 movies and The Lion King. Now I was considering wearing a suit for this video, but if you look at the past couple videos I've shot on this channel, um, I really didn't want to incur any additional dry cleaning bill for my innate ability to spill things everywhere, all over the place. Also, keep in mind that this recipe is enough for one drink, so if you're making this for any kind of party, you can easily scale it up to the number of drinks that you're going to prepare. Now, to make our double O teeny, we are going to take our shaker and we're going to add some ice into it. We're going to take an ounce of vodka, and I've already spilled it everywhere. Oh God, oh God, oh God. And an ounce and a half of our mold cider. Oh God, stop spilling everywhere. This is why I can't have nice things. Put the top onto your shaker and shake away. Oh, cold, cold, cold. Then all you need to do is pop off the top, just like 007. Ah, ah. I'm so sorry that I'm being a little bit weird. I may have sampled one or two of these martinis before making this video. And you'll just want to pour your martini into a martini glass. And there you have it. A super easy, super quick double teeny that is ready to serve for any kind of party or drink. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and leave comments below for things you'd like to see at any future Geek Food Fridays or anything on my YouTube channel or my written blog. And if you guys really want to keep up with every video that I put out, please click the subscribe button. I would totally love it and appreciate it. And I will see you guys later. Bye.